afternoon. My name is Daria, and I'm an assistant professor and an entrepreneur based in Saudi Arabia and co-founder of IRIS. So, we know now the, energy, the world is on energy demand and also in an energy crisis using unsustainable energy sources. So, what IRIS offers is actually a patented breakthrough technology that allows any window to become a solar panel. So, what I mean with this, we absorb the invisible portion of the light that captures it and blocks the heat and also produce gener generate electricity at the same time. So, the window is still transparent to your eyes. So how we do our technology? We coat it onto commercially available glass in air with no vacuum. So this makes it highly scalable. We then coat it to a double glazed unit window and then our product becomes um, building integrated. So I'm happy to tell you, we already collaborated with the world's biggest glass manufacturer and signed NDAs and our product proved that it works on their commercial construction glass. So this technology allows us to be in the world's fastest growing market, which is solar PV. And our initial target, greenhouses and commercial projects, uh, defines our target market. And Iris already has a lot of demand, and we are happy to tell you that, that we have 500 square meter pre-orders from early adopter companies for the desert agriculture. And the competition is there, but Iris is the first and the only company now offering the dual solution of electricity generating and heat blocking at the same time, much better than the compared to um, closest competitor. And how we're going to do this is a long way, but we will start with this pilot production and then with successful stage of the um, um, pilot production, we will collaborate with the uh, um, sorry, uh, architectural firms and the construction firms to move to the full, pilots, uh, full scale production, which is a global market in the end. So let me introduce you the dream team who make this possible actually in the only was one last year. I'm an assistant professor as I mentioned and the team as you see covering the business and also the technical side of this. And we have an amazing uh, advisory board who already invested in the previous PV technologies and now on, on board with us and invested in our company as well. And Iris is very new but already been recognized with the innovators under 35 in MTech review. And next time you see a piece of glass, think why it's not generating electricity. Iris is producing windows. Judges, your questions. What's your business model? And what's your business model? How, how do you or how will you make money? We will make money by, by selling the double glazed window coated our technology on it. That's... Just sell it right up. No, it's up. actually the whole technology makes it available. Like, well, you have to sell something in the end, but we are actually making the technology available, which basically making glass functional, right? So you put a glass, but all it does is let the light in, but also it lets the heat in. So our technology offers that you, you coat a coating in air, which is completely different than the available solar PV technologies, which lets the light in, but blocks all the heat you don't want for the energy saving. So then you can make it building integrated or using greenhouses or any architectural designs that you may want to use it. So you're going to sell the technology to the manufacturer yes. and then the manufacturer is the one who's going to actually apply this to buildings. So yes and no both because we have the technology and we would like to develop this technology and move to the pilot production until uh, because we, we can do it. So you're going to produce those glasses too then? No, we're not going to reinvent the glass, of course. As I mentioned, there are, uh, is the glass is the, the biggest world market. And what we want to do is um, we are actually a partner and also customer for them, right? So that's why this is a whole growing market. We are together with the world's biggest glass companies to develop our materials. So in the end, we buy their glass, but they can potentially buy us to sell their functionalized glass as well in the end. Okay. If it makes sense. This, this is fascinating. So, when do the unit economics start to work? You, you had this ninety dollars per square meter. So, so I don't know that the industry closely enough. What is the cost of regular glass? What is the cost of solar panels on the roof? And how do you position with all this? Yeah, I mean that's a that's a very good and valid question. So. 
Um, of course, it's hard to compare it, but the, the existing glass is very cheap, right? You can buy it for $10 per square meter. But the whole thing is on the added value of our technology. So you're making something completely unfunctional to an electricity generating and a heat blocking thing. And then this $90 per square meter is the added cost to the existing glass. Okay. As we're not going to reinvent the glass and, and utilize okay. it. But this, this product can be retrofitted as well, would just replace the existing glasses as well. So you can put it as a layer on existing glasses? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Does it ever expire? Pardon? Like, like the solar panels you put on the roof, you have to exchange them every 15 years, 20 years. Like yeah, yeah, that's a, that's a very good question. So of course, as everything else, it has a lifetime. Um, but the lifetime is defined at the 80% of its initial efficiency. That's how they in the define in the PV technology. So our lifetime is the changing between 10 to 15 years. But this is only for the electricity gen generation. So after this time, it will still continue to block the heat, which also um, reduce your energy saving, uh, you increase your energy saving. Do you then need to replace your material or entire window? Your material your coating. If you want it, again, electricity generating, or if you're fine with a heat saving, you can just keep it for 45 to 50 years. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much.